Okay, so a very good question was asked on the channel today that on certain BiPAP machine there is a mode called AWAPS. So what does this mean? So it's very simple. So AWAPS means A V A P S means average volume assured pressure support. So it's very simple to understand. On normal BiPAP modes there are two pressures. One is your EPAP expiratory positive airway pressure and the other one is inspiratory positive airway pressure. So these two are the pressures. So EPAP remains same in normal BiPAP mode and AWAPS mode. So EPAP is the same which acts as your P, which acts your CPAP or which acts your EPAP. So it remains the same. The difference lies in the IPAP. Now in routine BiPAP mode the, what happens? The IPAP along with the patient effort generates a typical tidal volume or deliver a typical tidal volume to the patient. Suppose I have set an IPAP of 10 and the patient's efforts is like this and this generates a tidal volume of 400. So if the patient's efforts goes down then the tidal volume will decrease because the IPAP is fixed. If the patient's efforts goes high then along with the IPAP the tidal volume delivered will increase uh, based on the patient's effort. So but in AWAPS mode what happens we are uh, the name is average volume assured pressure support so average tidal volume is assured so in that we set two IPAP pressures EPAP is the same but we set two IPAP pressures one is the low IPAP and the other one is the high IPAP suppose we have said for example uh, the low IPAP is 10 and the high IPAP is uh, 20 now within this range this pressure will vary how much it will vary we will set an average volume which he wants that needs to be delivered to that particular patient. Suppose we have set 450. So what this will do, when we connect this to, to the patients, the, it will start with the lowest IPAP 10 along with the patient effort, it will deliver certain tidal volume. Suppose we have set the average tidal volume which we wants the patient to be delivered is 450. And now with the low IPAP and the patient effort, it is getting delivered to 400 only. So what it will do in the next cycle, it will increase the IPAP by 2, like it will increase to 12. And then along with 12, with the patient effort, if it is able to deliver tidal volume of 450, which we have set average, it will remain at the same time. But this IPAP and EPAP will, uh, so this IPAP will vary within the range you have set, IPAP low and IPAP high. Suppose at IPAP of 16, along with the patient's effort, the tidal volume getting delivered is 500, but you want 450 only. So this will decrease the IPAP to 14. And then along with the patient effort, the tidal volume which will deliver to the patient will be somewhere around to 450. So it seems like a good mode in which the pressure of inspiratory pressure, positive air pressure is adjusting in, this, in that particular range by two or increments of two so that the tidal volume which you have set on that AWAPS mode is delivered to the patient. But the catch is it doesn't adjust very far. It will always adjust in increments of two or 2.5. Secondly, where it is used, it is usually commonly used in patients who have chronic uh, sort of disease like uh, myasthenia or motor neuron disease or recovering GBS because the adjustment happens a little bit slow. In acute condition, you need to adjust uh, manually on your normal uh, BiPAP mode so that you can see clinically what is happening with the patients. So this is a good mode. If you are familiar with it, Try to use it in patients who have a, a, a limited capacity because of the pump failure or certain conditions and do give it a try if there is a mode available on, on your BiPAP machine. But I hope it clarifies the concept of the AWEPS mode. So thank you for asking. Do read more about it.